So Howard Donald, member of the pop group Take That, yesterday, was another victim of the woke, fake outrage PC brigade. Howard Donald was dropped as one of the headline acts of the uh, Groovebox uh, Nottingham Pride event. As it, after it came to light, he liked a number of tweets that they said were critical of trans people. But, I mean, again, this is this is just ridiculous. This what happens. I mean, number one, that there's no such thing as freedom of speech here. Certainly not in the UK. I don't think it. It's even a freedom of speech case of freedom of speech in America anymore. But now, and this ha has happened an awful lot of people going back through tweets old tweets and then finding something for to, to get mad about and and then you know they encourage other people to get mad about it and then you know there's a big stink made about it over twitter to the point that eventually um you know well it you know it, it spread you know it was it, it was trending early afternoon time and I, and i remember saying to myself it was only a matter of time until they were they were going to drop him from the event and that's exactly what happened. Um, they dropped them from the Pride Festival. And the thing is, for me, it's like, you know, you know, Howard Donald's there. Um, it's not like Take That or there at the Pride Festival. It's specifically Howard Donald. So this would tell me that Howard Donald is probably more than likely um, a strong ally of the, you know, the LGBTQ community. Um, I don't think. You know, this, you know, when you have Buddy Daily Mirror reporting saying that Howard, Howard Donald li liked homophobic tweets. that That's just so slanderous. It, it really is. It's ridiculous. And I and I, I mean, Howard Donald, you know, I mean, Howard Donald should really have his lawyers on it and, and be suing the paper personally. Because to say that he was liking the tweets that are homophobic, that couldn't be further from the truth. Um, One of the tweets that he liked here. Charlie Kirk, defund Disney, and this this is the thing with Disney are doing right. Disney, um, um, you, you, you know, you've got buddy them right next to the whole concert. You know, wife, love, family, family, pride, pride. Remember, one of the seven deadly sins, and then next to it, gay men's chorus of Los Angeles, and Disney know what they're doing when they put this up the gay men part right next to the Disney thing. Because what is it you think of right away when you see Disney? That's what kids like. Kids right away when they think Disney, they think of their favourite films right away, they're going to immediately think, well, growing up for me, it would have been Toy Story. I don't know what the, the, the big Disney film is these days. But then next, that, so right away you see, oh, Disney. And then, but then it's gay men. And it's all with the, with the, the, the messaging, the, the, they, they know what they're doing, you know, they're, they're not stupid. And this is what they're putting out there to our children. Uh, this is what they're putting out there to the youth. And and, and this is getting worse and worse because, I, 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 you know, read an article in, in, in the uh, Daily Mail today about um, kid, uh, like kids as young as 9 and 12, you know, are, are getting exposed to stuff to do with masturbation, anal sex. This is what kids are getting exposed to. And then Daily Mail reached out to all these kid uh, schools that were teaching this. That was that was compulsory, right? Reached out to maybe what about seven or eight schools, and none of them, none of them had a comment. None of them had the, the, had the courage to say anything on this. None of them had the courage to condemn it, right? But this, you know, and, and, and he likes this tweet, defund Disney. You know, you know why we, what, why there's this whole campaign to you know defund Disney. You know why Ron. Uh, you know, DeSantis, DeSantis is behind that because this is what's being exposed. They're trying to corrupt the youth. And then, but it's real, obviously, smart in their behalf because as soon as anybody object, objects to it, they play the homophobic card. They play the transphobic card now. And that's not what it is. You know, kids shouldn't be getting exposed to these things. Even sex education in general at that age, you know, um, God, when I got taught about sex education at 11 or 12, I don't think I was at that age mature to, to be looking at that stuff, you know? All it was was us watching this video and us and kids not trying to, you know, giggle the whole time. That's all it was. It wasn't really much of an, an, an education at that age. But 
it just really it really just comes down to how having strong principles, you know. I remember an old friend of mine saying that he was okay with kids getting taught stuff about sex education at an early age because when he would hear words like prick and fanny in the playground, then kids are curious and they want to know what that means. And that was his rationale behind why kids should be taught sex education at a young age. You know, his principle principles are clearly different from mine, you know. This is a guy who principles are going to be based on getting along with everybody and pleasing everybody. Those aren't my principles. They would never be my principles when it comes to kids and, and doing what's right for them. Um, and, you know, so, you know, and, and the other stuff, you know, about the two, you know, there's only two genders, you know, BC isn't beautiful or healthy. These are other tweets that, they, 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 oh no, the woke out, the woke out, the fake outrage woke PC mob, they, they do not like that at all. And they taught Mr. Donald, not Donald, <laughs> they, they taught Mr. Donald a lesson. But the thing is, when it comes to like, like I say, Howard Donald must be a strong ally of the LGBTQ community. Um, Howard Donald, you know, in the group like Take That, especially in the early years, Take That was heavily marketed towards the gay community. Um, I don't think Howard Donald would have a problem with gay people at all. You know, he was going to, Christ, he was going to perform a, a Pride event. It was just him. It wasn't like it was all Howard Donald or Mark Owen. It was Howard Donald, just himself. And, and you know, Gary Barlow w w wasn't going to be there. Um, so this idea that he's homophobic really is ridiculous. Um, and Christ, I'm sure all the members and take that, none of them would, would, would have been homophobic, or, you know, had a problem with gay people. You know, they had their, their manager was that a Nigel Martin. He was he was a gay man. So this idea, I mean, number one, you know, that is slanderous. Them saying he he's like in tweets they're homophobic. You could say, okay, Pride event drops him over, you know, controversial Twitter likes. You know, something like that. But they should be suing. They should be suing the Matter for that though. He should. If he should be. He should. Howard Donald should sue the Daily Matter. For saying that you know he's dropped for liking homophobic tweets, he really should. Um, you know th th this is just the shit that they do, right? The mob. Um, they. I mean, w w would the left would would they tr uh, cancel somebody who said that you know they wanted to assassinate Trump, they wanted to blow up the White House. By the way, uh, you know, buddy Johnny Depp said that. Madonna said that. Something along those lines as well. They don't get dropped, though. They don't get dropped from a concert, though, do they? <laughs> you know? It's it's just ridiculous. And, you know... I, 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 it's just getting worse and worse and, and with, with the culture and with what they're doing, with what all these organizations are doing. You've seen the stuff that's happened with Bud Light. You've seen it with Target. And it just seems to be more and more of the doubling down with this lot, which does scare me. You know, it does scare me. Because they do have power. And they will, they will damn sure abuse it. And it's when the, it's getting abused on, 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 on innocent kids. That's, you know, and I'm not, I'm not a parent, shit. But it's innocent kids that, you know, we, you know, when you're, when you ultimately become an adult, you'll be raising kids, and just in kids in general, you, you want them to have a happy, innocent upbringing, you know, not being exposed to all this garbage. Um. So he, he's, again, you know, he, another victim of the woke P, PC mob. I don't think that ultimately, overall, he's going to be cancelled, though. I mean, maybe, you never know. Um, ultimately, you know, one ma man and, you know, you know, a group of three, you know, because it's him, it's Gary Barlow, it's Mark Owen. I don't think he'll be cancelled, but he, it might take him a while, though. Maybe he'll just have to go away for a bit and then it's all forgotten about. Maybe, you know, something like that, maybe, because I don't think they'll be forgetting right away. But I think he'll be okay, though, in the end, though. I don't think he'll uh, get cancelled. But but then you had, you know, you had him, Howard Donald, you know, he he, he, tweet, uh, he posted this on his Instagram. I have made a huge, huge error in my judgment, like in social media posts that are derogatory towards the LGBTQIA+. I, eh? huh? community and for that i am deeply sorry and i know i've let everyone down i'm really disappointed in myself i am sorry for any hurt that i've caused by my uneducated actions i clearly have a lot to learn it's a priority for me that i do this 
again, the, the, he should have apologized, Howard. You should have just, you know, stood up for what you believed in. But this is the thing. They, they push people into apologizing, right? I mean, they pushed, they, they, they bullied that guy. Um, what was the guy that was in the Munford and Sons group? They bullied him into apologizing for liking, posting something that he liked, a book that that Andy Nago guy did, who is a gay guy, by the way, um, who, who's very, you know, who, who's got bloody be beaten to a pulp by Antifa. But the, the mob bullied him, more or less drove him out of the group, tried to cancel him. Um, and who knows, they might they very well do this to Howard Donald as well. Um, you know, all of a sudden now we've got to watch what we like on Twitter. You know, it's one thing if, if Howard Donald was saying all this stuff, but when it comes to, like, gay people, like, in, in slurs, like, oh, you F-word this and rah, 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 trannies, blah, blah, blah. Then I would be like, okay, then it's probably, then that would be, that would be justified. He probably would be deserved to be cancelled in that case. But with this, it's clear that it's the, it's the radical agenda with the left. That's what it's all about. And if you are even, if, you, if you're just a little bit right of center, the, the, you are the enemy to them. They are coming for you. And and, and I never knew you, you, Howard Donald, to get involved in stuff that was kind of political. Um, I, I know he had been a bit critical of kind of like, when it came to the, you know, us getting locked down with the detrimental effect that had on kids. Um, in some cases, you could say that could have been a blessing in disguise that in the end, parents should just homeschool yeah, their children. But but not everybody's in a position where they can do that or some people, ultimately, they had to work. Um, but I, I, I don't know. It's just more and more people now are just going to end up being victims of this just nasty, vile, hollow, just mob. You know, they are a mob. They're, they have their strength in numbers is what it's about with these people. One-on-one, -on -one, I mean, you could crush them. You really could. But these cowards, though, are very dangerous. And it's only until the past maybe few months I have generally do fear how just harmful and vile they can be with people, you know, with people they don't like. Um, I thought it was pretty bad in 2018 when all of a sudden, you know, you had, you know, YouTube and Instagram and Twitter, you know, removing the people they didn't like, like Alex Jones and other people that were right of center. But it's just getting worse and worse and worse. You know, it really is because everybody's just trying to go out and try and pick point the finger at somebody and get them cancelled you know that's what what these bloody people thrive on that's, a, that's, a, that's what gets them through their day and you know you even had a, a, a an instagram uh post here from god this would have been what this would have been probably something like eight years ago or so and you've got this wwe wrestler ngf who um used the n-word now that's wrong i don't agree with him using that in that context but still this was a guy that would have done this when he was maybe only 19 20. when you're a 19 year old kid you're young and dumb you know you're young and dumb you you, you haven't figured out the world and how it works yet um but this is something that somebody found and was doing some digging on instagram and then they posted this on twitter maybe hoping this will catch on and they, they could get the guy cancelled and they've tried to do this in the past with other talent that have said, use the word, and not as a slur, but still still a word you shouldn't use. I, I wouldn't use it. And But they did try and get him cancelled. Um, you know, it didn't work. Maybe just in the end, the, the, the talent got slapped on the wrist. But people really need to kind of just calm down, though, and, and um, realize, you know, either, you know, you're either just, picking on this guy and trying to like come at him because you have an agenda or you have blown it's you've mi violently just misunderstood what you know what he was actually liking the thing was it wasn't about being homophobic or transphobic it was just the dumb shit that they're trying to push on us and then the, you know the agenda of trying to corrupt their children as well you know that that is what they're doing you know don't be naive you know the, 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 these people are very calculated in what they're doing um 
And yeah, but yeah, those are my thoughts overall, guys. Um, I was meaning to do a, a video before, but on this, but it's just it's been a very beautiful weather here in Scotland for a change. So, you know, I haven't really had a chance been out and about, but um, I, won't do, I will be more active um, with more stuff. I might even touch on a bit more with the stuff that Daily Mail has reported about the bloody sex education that's been going on with young kids because it's one thing when you're doing this thing as a YouTuber, getting likes and click and the clickbaity things, but sometimes you really just have to take a stand and, and stand up and know that this is the right battle to fight. You know, you have to fight for what's right. 